Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to teach you all the ins and outs of multitasking on your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The Note 8 is a fantastic device for multitasking if you actually know all the little subtle tactics. So let's dive in and discover on how to be more productive and better utilize the multitasking features of the Note 8 by knowing what they are. By the way, if you're wondering what case I'm using for my Galaxy Note 8, you can find the link down in the description box below. It is the official rugged protective case by Samsung made specifically for the Note 8. Just check the links down below. Now let's dive in and discover. All right, so I'm very sure that most of us here know the basics of multitasking. So let's say I want to multitask on my smartphone, on my Galaxy Note 8. Uh, I would launch Chrome, for example, and then I would tap the Recents key button, and then I would tap this button on the top in the middle, the, the button that looks like two windows. That's the multitasking button. When you tap this guy, the window goes to the top, the one you tap uh, the button on. And at the bottom, you can open another window from the apps list. Or if you have any recent windows, they'll show up right here. So if you tap on the apps list, uh, you can launch the calculator. And now you have two windows side by side and you can do multitasking. I can, I can either work on this window or I can come back and I can work on this window and I can do some meaningful uh, multitasking with any app that I please. And of course I can resize these windows up and down so I can make the uh, calculator look a little bit larger or I can make the uh, Google uh, Chrome look larger if that's what I desire. And of course if you want to kill any one of these windows you just swipe it away and it's gone. And then I can go here and I just kill all the windows. Now here's uh, stuff you can do that's a little bit beyond the basics. So the first one I'm going to show you guys uh, is go to the settings, go to advanced features, and then scroll down to multi-window, tap on this guy, and there's two options here. Let's take a look at the first one, then we'll move on to the next one. Uh, the first one is use recents button 2, and that means you have two options. You can use the recents button to actually uh, activate split screen view or activate snap window. Let me show you how that works. It is enabled right now. So in this scenario, uh, let's say that I had uh, Chrome up. Instead of pressing this and then pressing that button there, what you could do is you can simply bring up the application and then press and hold the Recents key and that activates multitasking automatically, pushing the window that you were focused on to the top, which was Chrome in this case. And at the bottom, you can either pick an existing window that is already running in the background or you can go to the apps list and pick something else. So I can go and I can pick YouTube, right? Additionally, when I'm done using uh, multitasking, all I have to do is press and hold the Recents key button again, just press and hold it, and the bottom window disappears. So press and hold, boom, multitasking is off. So remember that you can in fact use the Recents key button for these two functions. Now let me go back to the settings really quick. I'm gonna show you that uh, thing, again, advanced features, multi-window right here, use Recents button. So as you can see, you can do it either for split screen view or you can do it for the snap window uh, mode. Now snap window is a different kind of multitasking. Uh, let's uh, launch YouTube really quick. I'll show you what that is. YouTube application right here. And let's say I want to do a snap window on this guy. I can press this and I can simply uh, tap this icon. If you see this icon, uh, next to the double window, there's another icon that looks like a single window. If you tap that, uh, that allows you to do snap window. So if I tap the snap window, it allows me to choose any spot of that app and just click done. And it's going to actually uh, snap the portion that I uh, cho chose to the top of the screen. And I can do multitasking on the bottom. So that's snap window multitasking. The other thing you can do again with the recent key and everything here, let's, there we go. So let's say I wanted to do a snap window on this. Instead of, again, pressing this and pressing that icon, all I have to do is uh, press and hold this guy and that brings up the snap window option. And then from here, I can go up and snap any spot, click done. Now the top part is snapped over here. I can watch a video there. As you can see, this is all intractable. And then I can come back here and do something else on the bottom as I'm watching a video upstairs over here. When I'm done, press and hold, boom. The bottom window is always the one that disappears when you press and hold during multi-window. 
All right, let's move on to the next one. Now, the next option I'm going to talk about is called the app pairing. You do this by using um, edge panels. So let me show you the edge panels first. So let me pull in the edge panels, and this is the apps edge. Basically, you want to go to the settings, and you just want to make sure apps edge is enabled. And apps edge is basically just a quick shortcut to your favorite app. So I can have here my calculator, my dictionary, things I access a lot, I can just keep them right here. Now, what I could do is I could create pairs of apps to launch directly in multi-window mode. So if I go back into the settings, if you tap this, and by the way, if you don't have uh, the apps edge enabled, uh, if you don't have the uh, edge screen over here, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the settings, just go to the display, and you can access the edge screen right from here under display. Okay, brings you to the same place. Uh, it's the edge panels right over here. So activate apps edge, make sure it shows up right here, and then go at the bottom here, tap on edit, and on the top right, you'll see something that says create app pair. If you tap on the create app pair, it's going to allow you to choose two apps at the same time. So let's uh, choose calculator for one, and then let's choose uh, YouTube for the other. Okay, now I have calculator and YouTube uh, as an app pair. When I tap on this, it's going to launch both of them at the same time as a multi-window. You can also switch places if you want, if you want the YouTube to be on top or the bottom. Let's keep it on the top. Click Done. And let's go back out. Let's uh, exit the settings and go in here. Now, as you can see, when I tap these guys, I have YouTube on the top and Calculator at the bottom. This is an absolutely fantastic little feature. And again, you can do this with as many apps as you want. You can create more app pairs. You can either click plus or go to settings. Click plus. Oops. Let's uh, go back here. And then again, if I tap this guy, I can do calendar. Now let's try something different actually. Let's do uh, maps Chrome. And let's do, let's just do Play Store. Okay, click done. Go back here. If I click it, now I have Chrome on the top and Play Store at the bottom. Okay, I don't have to do any of this, pressing this button, pressing that button, everything is ready for me. All right, so that's called app pairing via the Edge screen. Now let's move on to another multitasking tip. All right, so if I go back to the settings, and uh, if I go into Advanced Features, and if I go to Multi-Window, at the bottom you'll see the next option that says Pop-Up View Action. Enable this and then you can do things like this. So uh, it's enabled, there we go. Let's go back out. Uh, let's launch an application like Calculator. And here's the cool thing you can do with it. You can swipe from the right, uh, left top towards uh, inside of the screen and that gives you a pop-up window. With this pop-up window, you can minimize it. Okay, let's tap on that minimize and you can put it anywhere on the screen for quick access. So I could be doing something on Chrome and uh, tap on this guy, and then I can do a quick calculation, and then I can exit or put it aside again, and uh, that's a very nice little feature to have, all right? So we have this guy. Let's go back out. And of course, I can do that with any app that I want as, far as, as long as it is supported. But again, you can put this anywhere. It's nice and convenient to have it. I can tap on it, and I can resize it as I please. So I can resize this if the size was not practical and also I can at any time maximize it okay so I can always go back and forth so I can come back make it smaller again uh, I can move it around and I can exit out of it all right so that's the pop-up window the next one is called screen pinning so this is actually a hidden feature so you have to go to the settings uh, you have to go into let me see security somewhere here uh, lock screen and security. You have to scroll all the way down, go to other security settings, and then make sure uh, pinning windows is enabled. So enable this guy, and then you can also go inside and give you some details. It says pin a specific app on your device. So let's go back out. Let's go to Chrome. Let's say I want to pin this app onto my device. So if I give my phone to somebody else, they can only access that app and cannot exit it. So what I would do so tap this guy, and now over here there's a button, and that looks like a pin. Let me just cancel all these, bring that to the front. So there's a pin button here, 
Uh, let me use the S Pen to point at it. So there's that pin button. I can tap on that pin button and that's going to pin the window. And it says, turn on pin window, start. Now remember, when you pin a window, it gets locked into place. And to exit that window, you do have to uh, press and hold the recents key and the back key at the same time, as it says right here. So let's start. The app is pinned. If I tap the home screen, it's not going to go back. If I tap, it's not going to go back. I mean, it'll go back on Chrome, but it's not going to exit the. It's not going to exit the uh, actual app at all. The window is currently pinned. So if I want to cancel it, I would have to press and hold these guys. And that says app is unpinned. Now I can exit it. Okay, so that's window pinning. And again, you can do that. Any, and of course, you can do that with any app. If I go to calculator here, if I tap this, uh, if the calculator has that option, I can tap on it. And now that is pinned. Start. There we go. So I cannot press the home to go back to the home screen. I cannot tap the recent key to bring up the other apps. All I can do is work on this app to exit. Press and hold, app has been unpinned, now I can go back home. And that brings us to the end of this video, and I hope you learned a few new things on your Galaxy Note 8. Of course, make sure to subscribe for more videos. There will be plenty of more Note 8 coverage. And also, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. And again, if you're wondering what that case is, the link is down in the description box below.